Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today I'm going to be going over the top 10 items that I would absolutely repurchase first, if I needed to. If this is the first time you're ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but today we do have like a ranking type video. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get it into the video. Hi, yes, hello. I wanted to do this video for a while. I've seen a few creators do like their top 10 best luxury purchases that they would totally repurchase first if they had to. Like if they lost their entire collection and they had to rebuy the first 10 things, what would be on that list to buy first? So I thought that I would give you my top 10 kind of like top 12 because I physically cannot choose, but we're gonna say top 10 for the sake of this video. So going from number 10, going to be like on the lowest end of things that I would buy again. And then number one is going to be like, I must buy it again. It's gonna be the thing that I buy on day one. I, I will have this item in my collection at the number one spot. So, to get started, we're just gonna start off with number 10. Number 10 on this list is going to be a piece that I do love, 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 but it would take me a tiny bit longer to repurchase if I did like lose it or if something happened to it. I don't want anything bad to happen to any of these stuff that I'm gonna show you today, but if it did, I would be less quick to repurchase this item, but I still totally would repurchase it. It is the Louis Vuitton Agenda. This is in the medium size, and I absolutely adore this thing. I've had this for about two years, going on two years now, and I use it so often. It's crazy the amount that I actually use it, and I also use this kind of as a journal as well, so I can write down my thoughts and just anything that I just like need to get off my chest. I have like some blank paper in the back back here and I just use that to write. They do have one size bigger than this and one size smaller than this. This will fit in a bigger handbag. The small one is pretty small. It's like this big. I want to say and it will probably fit in a lot of regular handbags even smaller bags so if you're someone that likes to carry your planner around with you everywhere you go i would go with the smaller one the reason why this is at the bottom of the list because it's a planner you can literally go to Target or Amazon or Walmart or anything like that and just buy a planner or you can just use like a notepad. It doesn't have to be like a planner planner. So this I know is very like extravagant. It's a bit bougie. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a bit much. So I do understand if you are not into something like this. But for me personally, I love the vibe. I think it looks really aesthetic. I don't know, I live for the aesthetic, guys. Number nine on this spot is actually going to be a clothing piece and it is going to be the piece that I'm currently wearing. This is pretty much anything from Totem. All of my Totem sweaters I absolutely love and they are some of my favorite sweaters that I have in my collection. I wear them all the time. They're such good quality. They're so soft. They're so comfortable. I'm currently wearing a black one right now, which I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have worn like white or brown so you could see it, but I didn't think that far ahead. But it's like a cable knit kind of sweater, and I just adore totem sweaters. But the reason why it's a number nine is because like it's a sweater, just totem sweaters in general. One million percent is a must buy. I love totem. There's even like some totem bags as well that I really like, and then I wouldn't mind adding to the collection at some point. But totem knitwear, all day long, love it so much, would 1 million percent add back into my collection. Number eight is going to be my Justin Clue ring, specifically the Justin Clue. I do have the love ring as well from Cartier, but I really, really just love the Justin Clue. I think it's one of my favorite rings that I have. And this one I would absolutely repurchase. Honestly, I don't know if there's been like a big price increase on the Cartier pieces, like the Love Ring, the Juice and Clue. I would imagine so. So I think it just depends on how expensive it is now because I got this a year and a half ago, going on two years ago. Did I get it in 2020? I got it in 2022, yeah because we were already in the new house. We moved into this house in 2023, so I already had it. So I think I got it at the very end of 2022, or around that. But I absolutely love this ring. It is genuinely one of my favorites that I own. I think it is so fun, it's so unique. I know it's not 
revolutionary or anything like that, but I really like it. I think it's pretty, I think it just looks nice. I usually have it stacked over here with my love ring. That's how I usually end up wearing it. That's gonna be my number eight spot. It's not like super high up on the list because like I do love the Deuce Clue, but I do have other pieces in my collection that I would 1 million percent repurchase over the Deuce Clue. I do really, really love this jewelry piece it is definitely one of my favorites number seven on this list we're actually going to talk about another clothing piece and that is going to be from kate i bought this kate cardigan again in 2022 and it has become one of my most worn pieces in my collection as a whole i'm not wearing it right now because it's like summer but in fall winter i wear this thing religiously i wear it all the time this is just one of my favorite clothing pieces that i have in my collection it's incredible it is so heavy and luxe and the material is phenomenal the quality is amazing i want to get this in a few other colors as well like i want to get it in this olivey khaki green color and then i want to get it in like the beige I just have so many colors I want to get it in. It's crazy, but they're just so expensive that like I tend to put my money towards like handbags or jewelry or something. I don't usually spend a large amount of money on like ready to wear or like clothes. I do like it. So I am glad that I have this piece, but they're just so expensive. I do find it kind of hard to be like, okay, let me spend my money on this instead of let me buy a bag or something. You know what I mean? Or let me buy a piece of jewelry. So that's why I only have one. One is probably enough because I mean it's black it goes with everything if I got another one It would really just be not just to buy it because I really do love this cardigan but I don't need another one. Is that is basically what I'm trying to say number six we did we did Yeah, number six we're getting up there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Okay, so for number six I'll probably have to go with and this is gonna be like a two for one because again, I just couldn't decide. I genuinely love both of these sunglasses equally. I do wear one more than the other. Well, I love them both. They are both fantastic sunglasses. The first one is going to be these from Alem. I have never seen a pair of sunglasses that are this cool. I absolutely adore these sunglasses. These are some of my favorites to wear during the summer, which I actually should start wearing these more often now because we're getting into summer. These are metal sunglasses as well, if you're into that. But yeah, I absolutely adore these sunglasses. They're so cool. They do fit my face pretty well. Like they are a tiny bit loose, but since they're wire, you can just tighten them. I do need to give these a good clean. I can't see shit out of these. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to clean these, but I love the vibe. I love the shape of them. They're so fun. They're very lightweight as well, but Alem sunglasses are fantastic. And then of course my baby sunglasses, my favorite sunglasses in my collection. These are my Chanel sunglasses. Uh, again, I would probably repurchase these faster than the Alem, but I would purchase them relatively at the same time because I do love both of them. But these ones, I feel like I just wear more often. These are the acetate sunglasses. I don't actually know what they're called. Chanel 5417. I don't know, maybe that's the model number. These are the ones that has the Chanel here on the rim, on the brim. I don't know what you would call it, but it's at the top. So when you wear it, and then if you look down, or if you do this, then you can see the Chanel. It's really cool. I love these. I got these last year and yeah, they are definitely my number one most worn sunglasses that I own. So I would totally repurchase these very, very quickly. Number five, you guys, we're getting into the top five of my list here. I feel like a lot of these pieces you're going to be expecting because I talk about them all the time. And these are just hands down some of my favorite pieces that I have in my collection. Okie dokie. Number five. In my collection, I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. And I know you're probably gonna be like, oh my God, this is the, gonna be in your number five spot. That's crazy. Yes, this is my Louis Vuitton Rosalie card holder. And this is from their like summer, no, what is it? It's not the by the pool collection. I forget which collection this is, maybe like Milky Way. I think they had like a Milky Way collection, but this is in the color bubble tea. 
This is my favorite SLG that I have in my collection. This color is perfection. This has been very hard wearing as well. I have been wearing this card holder every single day since I got it and I got it end of January, maybe mid February, something like that. I've been wearing it every single day. I love this card holder. It's so cute. I just love the bubble tea color. I love the Rosalie card holder. I love that it's leather. The leather is very durable. I also love it that it's very spacious as well. It fits a lot of stuff. On my number four spot, you guys, this is really, really hard. I don't have it with me because I didn't really want to bring it in here just because it's very heavy and it's very like bulky, but it's my Dyson Airwrap. I don't know what I would do without my Dyson Airwrap and I know that's very much a first world problem. Like I don't need that kind of hair dryer. Like that is a very expensive hair dryer. It's kind of insane. I understand, but I genuinely believe it's helped my hair so, 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 so much without using like so much heat on it. I can curl it and it looks great, but then I don't feel like it's fried or dry or anything. I just absolutely love the Dyson Airwrap. I don't know. I mean, I do know what I would do without it. I mean, I would just go back to using a regular blow dryer. It's not that big of a deal, but I love the Dyson. I would totally, totally rebuy it very, very quickly if I had to, just because I really do feel like it's a staple in my weekly routine for my hair. That was number four. Number three, you guys. Huh? Oh my God, we're getting so close. Number three, it's actually our first handbag of this entire ranking, of this list. Oh my goodness. Are we shocked? Are we surprised? Absolutely not. This is my Celine Ava Triumph bag. I am obsessed with this bag. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite bags that I have in my collection. She is my baby child. She is my, I don't know why I wanted to be like, she's my baby, she's my honey. She is my ragtime gal. <laughs> I don't know, but I love her so much. Hands down, one of my favorite bags that I have in my entire collection. I would absolutely repurchase her immediately. Like literally, we're at, we're at the number three spot at this point. These are pieces that I would would immediately repurchase in my collection like on the same day if not the day after like I would buy these again so quickly you know Lord willing of course like if I had the funds if I had the means to I would repurchase these if I couldn't so be it but we're we're talking about this video in the hopes that I have the ability to be able to even rebuy these bags I should have said that before but <laughs> yes I just feel like I've blabbed so much about this bag over the past few videos and over the past months since I've received it that you guys are just kind of sick and tired of hearing me go on and on and on about this bag. So yeah, Celine Ava Triumph is my number three. Uh, number, in my number two spot, it's not gonna be any better. Number two is actually gonna be a twofer. It's gonna be two bags, both from Louis Vuitton, that I just can't decide over. So I have my, I mean, to be honest, I feel like it would be this one, but the other one is my Nano Speedy. Okay, let me actually make a decision. I love the Nano Speedy. This is, again, one of my favorite bags in my entire collection, but I could rebuy this anytime. Like, I don't think that this bag is hard to find anymore. I don't think that it is, like, out of stock. I don't think it's hard to buy this bag. So I would repurchase it if I had to. Now, let me actually just pick one here. I am obsessed with this bag. I honestly think I like this bag more than my Nano Speedy, but I wear my Nano Speedy more often because it's neutral. I can wear it all the time, anytime. This one, of course, is gonna be a bit more loud. It's gonna be a bit more summertime, maybe like a winter bag, but this one I feel like is an actual piece of history. So I would do everything in my power to repurchase this if I could. This is from the Louis Vuitton Men's Spring Summer 2022, I believe. And this is the last collection that Virgil Abloh was able to do with Louis Vuitton men's before he passed away. I genuinely feel so grateful that I'm able to have this piece of history in my collection, this piece of luxury. I don't know, I don't, memorabilia in a way. I don't know, I just 
am enamored with this bag. I love it to actual pieces. So I do actually think this one I would repurchase first over the Nano Speedy, even though I would repurchase the Nano Speedy very quickly. This one is just a piece of history. This one is a piece of art. They're all pieces of art in my opinion, but this one in particular, it has such a special place in my heart. I wanted this bag so, 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 so bad when I first saw it released, but I couldn't get it. It was already sold out. I tried to find it at my Louis Vuitton here and the girl was like, honey, if you didn't get that within the first round, you're not gonna get it. And I was able to find it online. I feel so fortunate. I feel so lucky that I'm able to have this bag in my collection. So I would 1 million percent repurchase this one first. No, my number one spot. Oh my God. My number one spot that I would repurchase first out of everything that I have in my collection, Lord willing, I'm able to find it for one because I don't know if I'd be able to find it. You're probably gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is my small Chanel classic flap. This is from the 21 P collection. It is the caramel small classic flap from Chanel. This is my favorite thing that I own in my entire collection. I am in love with this bag. This bag is my absolute child. I don't even know, words can't even express how much I love this bag. I am just physically obsessed with it and I would do everything in my power to repurchase this and get it back in, into my collection if I could. Obviously it goes without saying that I would do the same for both of my Chanel's. This one I would repurchase first, that's why it's a number one, but my blue one right here is one that I would probably repurchase second. And then the Louis Vuitton one would be third. I would 100% repurchase my classic flaps first because they're just like my favorite pieces that I have in my collection. This one is actually gonna be at the number one spot because I would repurchase this one first over this one, but I would try to repurchase them both relatively quick if I could, but. Yeah, this one specifically because this color, I wanted this color for so, so long, couldn't find it. This bag just screams me in a way. Like I love the classic flap style, I always have. I didn't really get into, you know, this luxury sphere until like 2020, 2021 around there. And that is kind of when this bag was coming out. So I saw this, it was one of the first bags that I saw. And then also Jessway Lou has this same bag and I saw her unbox it. And I was like, oh my God, there's that bag. I love it so much. And, how, and here we are like four years later in 2024 and I finally have her in my collection. I feel like it was just such a long time coming. I feel so grateful that I'm able to have this bag in my collection, this piece of art. Anyways, this is my number one spot, hands down. Love her to pieces. Even though I know it's in lambskin, I know it's more delicate than the caviar. I just love the lambskin the most. But you guys, that has been my top 10, kind of like top 12, 13, I don't know. But that's been my top 10 pieces that I would repurchase first in my collection that I love so, so much. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was today that I showed. Let me know in the comments what would be your top 10 things that you would repurchase. It doesn't have to be luxury, it could be anything. It could be like top 10 clothing pieces you would repurchase, top 10 shoes you'd repurchase first. You know, just let me, just leave me a comment down below telling me anything like that because I'm nosy now and I know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!